I haven't spoiled myself on the Shadow of the Earth Tree. The only thing I know is that a bunch of people are bitching that it's too hard. So I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to embarrass myself on stream. I saw, um, was it Kai Sinap who brought a therapist on stream to, to help him because he'd been stuck on the, on a boss for ages? And she was like, how does that make you feel? <laughs> Fantastic bit. Souls-like players are only able to enjoy the game if they break it by overleveling and cheese. Yeah, I've noticed that. There was a tweet that was saying, like, it seems like there are some, like, Souls game fans who only enjoy the difficulty if they can circumvent it entirely by cheesing bosses or by learning the mechanics so well that they basically don't even have to engage with them anymore and doing an overpowered build. Like... You'll have people who are like dual Uchigatana, like like uh, Rot, Bleed, Frost, and then they go over there and are just exclusively like jump two-handing, you know? And, and, they, and they kill everything in like five seconds. And it's like, ah, yeah, I love the difficulty in these games. And it's like, mother you broke out Excel to maximize your DPS, okay? You sweat lord. I don't watch Kaisina. I have no opinion on Facetious. You could have just said Rivers of Blood users. People don't use Rivers of Blood in the, like, super ultra-fast kills. It's usually, like, dual Uchigatana or whatever. Um, but yeah, Rivers of Blood was OP until it got nerfed. What was the magic one? What was the magic katana that was also insanely powerful? Moonveil, yeah. I don't know, like, this, this is, this is, like, national favoritism equivalent to the way in which the War Thunder devs make the Russian tanks stronger than they would be in real life, where FromSoft, like, despite making Western fantasy games, rep their heritage by making the katanas the most busted weapons <laughs> in... In Elden Ring, they're like, "All right, we're gonna showcase our nat national heritage here. We're gonna the Nippon Steel folded one thousand times. They had a great katana's too low. Wow, spoilers. Do you play War Thunder? No, I used to. Shit ass game. Why are you guys telling me stuff about Shadow of the Earth Tree? Are you like actual retards? Why are you? I don't understand. What's wrong with you? It was in the trail. I don't watch trailers to avoid spoilers. Do you think there's going to be a Sekiro DLC? DLC like five years later." People I know that play War Thunder are the worst ever. Is that just the community? Yes, it's a shit-ass community. What do you hope to see in the DLC then? Okay, I've said... I know they're not going to do this in Elden Ring. I've said this before. I really wish... I want them to make the rolls uh, slower, is the thing. The problem is that, like, they keep... They keep... They, they did this in Dark Souls 3 and then in Elden Ring. They make the Dark Souls... They make the rolls so fast that you can start, like, whooshing your way... Like, it just turns into, like, panic roll through everything, you know? Like, eventually you get a handle on it, but sometimes it feels like... Compare the default roll in Dark Souls 1 to the default roll in Elden Ring and you'll see the difference, you know? I think the Dark Souls 1 roll nailed it, like, really well. Um... I also really like the way you can parry in Sekiro, but past a point, you're also kind of just spamming parry. So I don't know, maybe like a directional parry, kind of like a like a like a more advanced version of what they did in Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I, I don't know. I have to think about it. I don't like it when the game kind of forces you to spam your way through some shit. You know, it also means that if you if your rolls are super fast, the enemies have to be super fast to accommodate. And like we're reaching a point in the FromSoft game boss development where you can no longer rely on your reflexes to dodge attacks and that's an issue to me like if you go back and play dark souls one what you'll realize is that for every boss including the the fast ones like uh, artorius of the abyss you'll realize you can reflex your way through the the fight as in as long as you're like really good you have the ability to on first playthrough understand intuitively when these attacks are coming down but like there is literally no way to do that with someone like millennia right it's not possible like you need to get hit by the attacks to learn their timing and how they act and everything because no human could respond like you you have to memorize them basically and uh, even market yeah especially dude, it is not possible to one try market no hit with no prior experience you know like it's literally not possible because the way his attack timings are set up it's just it's not possible it's not even a skill thing it's literally just like the way the fight is designed means you have to think like okay this animation could mean one of two timings and you need to be ready for this one or this one and if you you want to roll forward not backward because he might spin into the thing that makes you want to roll to the side like all of that is like prior knowledge stuff it's not the same as being able to reflex your way through it if the boss is a little bit slower and you're a little bit slower it balances out in terms of the like reflexive timing and you can kind of like think your way through the fight i think are there tons of builds in the game surely one of them serves an easy mode yeah uh magic is the easy mode in all of the from soft games
Elden Ring does it deliberately, though. Yeah, I'm not saying they don't do it deliberately. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like um, full strength is stronger, but not like cheese. Hetlawani. Favorite from soft game? Maybe Dark Souls 3? I don't know. I hate how the role has now subverted blocking in the risk-to-reward hierarchy. It used to go blocking to dodging to parrying, where blocking has low risk, low reward. Parrying has high for both dodging right in the middle. But now dodging is the low risk, high reward option, so why ever bother blocking? That is true. That's actually a good point, yeah. It used to be that, like, sitting behind a block in Dark Souls 1, like, with the tower shield, you were basically invulnerable, but you couldn't do anything with it. But now, because of how everything's been re rearranged for most players, like, just default rolling is the... Yeah. That's why guard counters are a thing. I don't really like guard counters, to be honest. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I, I guess I just don't like shields. <laughs> honest question, you don't like debates anymore? What made this breaking point bit special? If the birds outside of your bedroom window stop singing for a while, but then you hear one of them tweeting, do you question it? Or do you just enjoy the melody? Or to put it another way, I reflexively answered an email, then later thought, oh God, do I really want to wake up at 6.30 in the morning to debate some guy on Ukraine? <laughs> but once you agree... I haven't watched the debate yet. That's pretty, that, that's not surprising considering the fact that it's not out. What games are you looking forward to? I don't look forward to games. It's a good way to get disappointed. It's not just idiot sweat squash. People are getting their level 300 characters melted by like the first boss. Okay, all right, okay, okay. Vosh, I'm doomer pilled today. Do you have motivation? Why, why are you doomer pilled today? What do you mean motivation? What am I, your therapist? Skill issue. Have you seen the announcement trailer for the new Starship Troopers game? It seems like it embraces the anti-fascist message like Helldivers 2. Yeah, Helldivers 2, the game that is like universally celebrated for being anti-fascist by a fan base that understands it. I don't give a shit. I don't play games or watch movies or whatever for the politics. It, it always like puts me off a little bit when people are like, hey, you'd really like this. Did you know this is like very socialist leaning? Do you think I played Disco Elysium because it was made by communists or because it was the best written game ever made? You know, if... Disco Elysium was poorly written. I would not have sat down for 22 hours playing that shit. That's honestly BS. I'm not super skilled or overloaded. Why are you guys still talking about it? Didn't I just say, guys, chill. I'll play it when I play it. It's all good. <clears throat> do you, what, what do you, like, you know, I get nothing out of people in chat being like, I can't tell you, but, it, but X and Y, like, did you know thingy? I don't know. I don't know thingy. Like, come on. You, you know, you're doing that for you. I didn't, I don't covet this information. You're doing that for your, for your own benefit. You have to recognize that. Have you watched the Nosferatu trailer? Movie's looking really good. I don't watch trailers. Also, n no, what? Nosferatu? Willem Dafoe looks extra goblin in it. Well, hold on. Okay, you didn't tell me. All right, hold on. You didn't tell me Willem Dafoe would be present at the function. You're selling me a house party. Like, hey, there's going to be drinks there. F I've got drinks at home. You tell me Willem Dafoe is at the house party? All right. Okay, hold on. It's by the lighthouse and the witch's director. Hold on, hold on. You're okay, okay. Willem Dafoe and the director of the lighthouse. Now, all right, you're you're telling me the function will contain both Willem Dafoe and the director of the lighthouse. All right, okay. I don't even care about the drinks anymore. I'm I'm sold. I'm canceling my my attendance to my distant relative's funeral. You know, I'm going in. I can't tell if Vosh is being sarcastic. What? Why would I be sarcastic about being enthusiastic about Willem Dafoe and the director of The Lighthouse? I watched The Lighthouse, which has Willem Dafoe in it, and it was great. Well, what's the sarcasm there? Do you think I'm so contrarian and my media takes are so bad that I would dislike The Lighthouse? I love The Lighthouse. What are you talking about? I put that shit on on a whim. I was just chilling on my couch 3 p.m. I was like, yeah, I'll watch The Lighthouse. And Kanye was transfixed by the allure of quality character acting you know we watched it together your tone was a little vague yeah it's called being a comedy mastermind okay keep up haven't seen the lighthouse it's really good it's really really good called being autistic that would be called you being autistic not me though i am robert pattinson proving he's a great actor too i i always had faith in robert ever since the uh the twilight movies ended i always had faith in him some of his uh some of his like appearances you know like the way he talked to the press I feel like he was he was cooking something. He's the best Batman. He was a really good Batman. I feel like he basically took the Christian Bale Batman, but elevated it in like every way. Like he took the he hit the same notes, but he he did it much better. You know, critical drinker shatting it without even watching. Oh, the idiot who's wrong all the time was wrong again. That's crazy. Vosh, I watched The Lighthouse initially while high for like halfway, but was so invested that I stopped until I was sober enough to finish it. Was that good? Yeah, it's really good. Thank you for paying respects.